It's uh, day three, last day here. Ended up having a nice, not nice night last night. Had a few showers before bed, but then uh, cleared up. Starry night. It's pretty cold this morning. It's cold, isn't it, Kai? Oh my god! We're camped uh, not too far from the Platypus Flat Ow. Campground. It's just over there. I'm There's dead. three main campgrounds in this area. You got Platypus Flat and Cod Hole, which is further out. Then you also got uh, the Junction. But to get to the junction, you have to go right back out to the main road and come in the other, the northern end of the uh, national park. I don't think you can get through there. Not that I'm aware You've of. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. And then uh, besides the three main campgrounds, there are a few other little spots along the creeks, but not that many. Uh, there is a couple that we found last time. But uh, yeah, most of the camping is in the main campgrounds. They're all they're all paid campgrounds. They're all national park. They're all really nice spots, but the uh, the campgrounds aren't anything amazing. Platypus Flat is pretty good, but most of the area is fenced off, so you have to carry your stuff uh, into it. You can't camp next to your car really. And then the junction is the same. It's pretty small, and you can sort of you can either camp in the car park, I guess, or you have to carry your stuff out down a few steps under the grass and then cod hole is camping next to your car um, it's a pretty nice spot There doesn't seem to be heaps of four-wheel drive tracks in this area. We had a bit of an explore the last time we are here and we couldn't find too much. Um, but the one we're going to try and get out of here today is a pretty good one. It's nothing too hard but it's just a good nice track. So it's not too far from Plat Platypus Flat Campground. Both camped in the swags last night. Uh, these are both mine, single ARB swag and the double ARB swag. camped on this corner down here. Uh, there's the Platypus Flat camping area up there. It says picnic area but that's the Platypus Flat camping area. Uh, so we camped here. Now this track we're going to do is the one that runs out along here up into the mountains. So 
Moon Mirai Road, so it's called. We did it once before a couple of years ago. Uh, it was a bit overgrown, we had to cut a few logs off and things like that, but it's a good drive. We'll, uh, hopefully we can get through today, we'll see how we go. While the Nimboy Binderay National Park doesn't contain too many four-wheel drive tracks, it's a beautiful area for camping and exploring. The Nimboida River, which flows through the Nimboy Binderay National Park, is popular amongst kayakers and whitewater rafters, as well as being a popular spot for fishing. You uh, never have to stop getting sticks out from under your car on these tracks. Especially when you have rock sliders. The rock sliders seem to pick them up heaps. As you make your way along the track, you pass over several of these old bridges that are getting quite worn out. But it looks like in recent times, someone has actually replaced some of the wood on these bridges which should keep them held up for quite a while yet. The last time we drove this track a couple of years ago, we had to do quite a bit of clearing on the day, including winching a couple of big logs off the track. But this time around, it seems to get a lot more use, and it was less overgrown, and we had nothing to clear. The track is quite an easy drive, and could be undertaken by any four-wheel drive of low range. What I really love about this track is the variety of sceneries you pass on your way. From thick rainforest, to Australian bushland before eventually coming out in a pine forest. When you finish the track, you navigate your way about 10 kilometers through a pine forest before coming out on the Armadale Road. We uh, made it out of that track all good. Didn't take us too long, it was only about an hour and a half out of there. Last time I did it, it took a lot longer because I uh, had to clear a fair bit off the track, but it seems to get a lot more used now. Uh, it's just a good bush track, nothing too hard, but a little bit of low range. We aired up and then we came into Dorigo, where you come out, it's only about, well, maybe a bit over a half hour drive from Dorigo. We came out 
and went in, came into Dogo, and we just stopped at Denga Falls and had some lunch here. Really nice waterfall. Be good in summer to go for a swim, but not having another freezing swim today. I already had one. Uh, it's pretty windy and cold up here. Kai's in the back watching Star Wars and we're going to make the drive home now from Dorigo. Did, did you have a fun weekend away, Kai? Yes. Pretty good? Yes. What was your favourite part? Um, Watching Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Seriously, what was your favourite part?